welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these super cute baseball leopard split tumblers. This is not my original idea. I honestly don't know who started this, but I am in love. I saw it in a tumbler group and had to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with spraying the base a white. I'm using a Krylon matte white. Um, really any white works. I'm doing this in a diagonal manner because I'm going to leave space to add the metallic. So I'm doing the white first because once it dries, I can put the neon fluorescent yellow over it for the softball one. Um, I'm also using the Rust-Oleum metallic gold, um, gold chrome, I think is what it's called. I'm not 100% sure, but and I'm uh, filling in the space where the stainless steel is showing. And you can go back and forth with the spray paint until you get like a semi ombre the way that you want, um, but completely up to you. So here's me doing the second tumbler and doing the metallic gold. And then once your spray paint dries and you wanna do your fluorescent yellow, um, which again, I recommend basing it white um, for the yellow to pop. Um, you're going to cover up that white space and again I also recommend Krylon for your fluorescence because they are better than the Rust-Oleum fluorescent for sure. So here is the softball ombre and I'm just doing a second coat of the white over the baseball one just to get full coverage. So now you're going to do about two milliliters on each cup. I'm using CC DIY Fast Set for the glitter application layer and you're going to put a very, very thin coat. So I'm going to glitter um, the softball one first and kind of slow it down. And then the baseball one is gonna be sped up a little bit since you just watched me do it um, with the softball tumbler. So for this tutorial, I will be using peachy olive glitters. I'm using highlighter and then the um, thinner, thinner, finer glitter is gonna be lemon heads. So what I'm doing now is starting off with a chunky and I'm pouring it a cup and using my fingers because I feel like this is easier for me to do it this way when I'm doing a like sideways diagonal ombre instead of like the normal ombre. So then I'm also using Athena, which is a Pogue favorite of everybody's. And I'm doing that on the gold section. Again, I'm just doing the chunky, kind of spreading it around um, sporadically over the parts where I want them, but also kind of ombreing it into the other color with the chunkies. That way it'll have a good mix between the two. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go back with the highlighter and hit those creases to kind of blend in the Athena and highlighter together. And then once I feel like I'm com comfortable with my um, chunky glitter, we're gonna go ahead and use Cleopatra for the gold portion. And then like I mentioned before, we're gonna do lemon heads for the other portion. So this one I'm holding at a pretty high angle and I'm just tapping the glitter cup so that the glitter comes out in little bits, not too much. We don't want to dump it on um, because this is an ombre. So you're just going to be patient, tap it around until you get some full coverage and then you're going to take your lemon heads and do the same exact thing. And then you're just going to basically go back and forth with that lemon heads and the Cleopatra until you get a blend that you really like. On the bottom, I kind of just mixed the two the best I could. Um, I didn't really have a rhyme or reason the way I did the bottom of the tumbler, but hey, um, see, I just kind of put it there a little bit and then I'll put a little bit of gold on there too. So um, these wax, pre-cut wax sheets are amazing. They're my favorite. Uh, make it easier for glitter cleanup even though I still have glitter everywhere. Um, so there's me finishing the bottom and then we are going to go ahead and do the baseball tumbler look at that how pretty um, and you're going to want these to fully cure before we move on to the next step so for the baseball i'm using chantilly and venetian and because those have more of like a yellowish um tint to it in a way like you know how some opal whites Whites are never pure white. If it is, it's more of a matte. It's not sparkly because you need another color in there for it to really pop. So for Venetian and Chantilly, um, they're in the same family of um, just different cut sizes. Those are, if you see it put over the white, it's not white exactly. It's just kind of like a 
opalescent with like yellows and red tints. Um, but I felt that would be best for a baseball tumbler um, to match well with the softball tumbler. Um, so then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as I was doing before. I did my chunkies first, which was Venetian and Athena. And then I'm moving on to the finer cuts, which is Cleopatra and Chantilly. Um, using my fingers, you can also take um, the wax paper and kind of pat the chunky glitters down so you don't have to put as much epoxy, but on the... Um, when you do put epoxy over it. So now that these are fully cured, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a brush like that and you're gonna brush your tumbler, all the excess glitter off. This helps um, the glitters not mix too much. So as you can tell, I accidentally started on the yellow portion when I meant to start on the gold portion. So I ended up just kind of covering that up. I have a full tutorial on how I do the glitter leopard spots, um, which I will link down below. So this is gonna be super sped up. Um, but I'm still using peachy olive glitter. Um, sorry, I forgot what it was called. It just slipped my mind. Peachy olive glitter espresso and then basic blackboard. Um, those are my go-tos when it comes to like standard leopard spots um, with like the brown and the black. And they're both fine cut glitters. I'm using a mixture of Mod Podge and acrylic paint. Again, you can find these tutorials, um, tutorials, just one tutorial um, below, I'll link it below. Um, and then once you are done, there's a couple different things you can do to seal your leopard print that is glitter. You can either use CC DIY Quick Coat and put it over. Once your Mod Podge is completely dry, you could do a couple layers of that. You could also spray it with like a clear spray paint over top of it to kind of keep everything in place um what i like to do is just take that that bristle brush that you saw that chipboard brush that's like two inches um i like to take that once everything's completely dry and just brush it off um, or take a soft brush and brush around it while it's still wet so completely up to you. I usually don't have issues with um, the glitter mixing after you put on epoxy because I make sure that there's no loose glitter to be flowing around with the epoxy, if that makes sense. So if, if that's happening to you, it's just because you had loose glitter that you did not seal or have attached to the cup um, enough. So now I'm going to go ahead and put about 30 milliliters of CC DIY's Artist Resin on both of these cups. Um, it's actually 30 milliliters each. Um, their artist resin is fantastic. Since I'm doing a cup with a white, um, white glitter on it, I went ahead and did, um, the artist resin because, um, their facet, like yellow, they warn you not to put it on light or, um, light or white cups. So after your epoxy is fully cured, you're going to go ahead and do some sanding and then you're going to add another 20 milliliters of epoxy. Again, I'm using CC DIY artist resin. Now at this point, you could probably like add a name or a quote on the side or anything like that. But um, now we are going to add the tape. So this is packing tape that looks like baseball stitches. I got it off Amazon. I'm going to link it down below, but super cool. Um, super easy. You don't have to worry about water slides or anything else. It's literally packing tape. So I went ahead and kind of lined it up the best I could because you're doing this at an angle almost that you don't want too many creases in it. And um, since it's tape, it's kind of easy to like maneuver up and down. And if you mess up, you can just cut that piece off and like get a new piece. <laughs> so it's not that bad. Um, and then I cut it off and I cut it off over like well over top because I'm gonna go through with like uh, my squeegee and like my knife and just kind of cut through and see what I can do. As you can see, that's where I kind of fixed the spot I messed up on when I was doing the leopard spots up there. Um, I figured with the tape covering it, it wouldn't be that noticeable. Um, so there's that. But um, I cut off the edge with a extremely sharp X-Acto knife. Um, it needs to be sharp or else it's not gonna cut as well. And then I'm pulling the tape back and then slowly applying it again. Since it's again at an angle, it's probably gonna be best to do this on your turner or on one of those tumbler holders that will let you move your tumbler around, but also keep it in the same spot. 
Um, and then I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife again, and I'm gonna cut around where the crease is right there and kind of stop it before the next stitch, um, mostly because that was just the best spot that I could do that with. And then I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the baseball tumbler, but I'm just going to show you guys again a little bit closer at a different angle so you guys can get a pretty good idea of how it's done. Now, after I applied the tape, I went ahead and sanded. Um, I just made sure not to sand anywhere near the tape. I was just sanding down the leopard spots because they're glitter leopard spots, so it kind of takes a little bit more epoxy to really smooth it out. Um, but I sanded it down, and then I cleaned the tumbler with 91% alcohol, um, both tumblers, and that way I could get my fingerprints off of it, and I could also get the sanding dust off of it. And then I went ahead and added 20 milliliters of epoxy, again, CC DIY artist resin. And then once that um, cured, I went ahead and added a second and final coat of CC DIY artist resin to finish off the tumbler. Again, you could add a decal, you could add names, you could do whatever you want um, with this tumbler to kind of spice it up a little bit, but I really like the way that they are, so. Um, Anywho, that's it. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, I will have a blog associated with this with the cost breakdown of both. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time.